So I'm sure you're very excited about the next 24 hours. You are saying this is the first all private mission to the ISS, but the Russians have been bringing civilians up there uh, for a pretty penny. What makes this different? Well, this is the first um, American uh, uh, all all fly, uh, American uh, all private astronauts to the International Space Station, and um, you know we're so delighted that we're able to make this happen uh, and uh, bring this uh, you know all together. How much interest is there for private trips, and how big do you think this market could be? Well, I think the market is actually uh, growing uh, quite a bit. Uh, I mean, this is the first first time that we're doing this, but uh, we actually pretty much have sold AX2 mission and pretty much AX3 mission. And uh, we're now trying to sell some seed on AX4 mission. So um, <clears throat> it's quite popular. And uh, I'm hoping that it, it becomes even more popular after AX1 mission is completed. And obviously, the ISS schedule can be complicated. Are you planning to add many more? Yes. Um, I mean, we, uh, you know, just, just so you know, Emily, um, uh, Axiom Space is a lot more than just uh, bringing private astronauts to the space station. We're actually building our own uh, space station, Axiom Space Station, which will be launched uh, in mid-2024. And it will dock with the current ISS uh, and will be uh, operating jointly with the International Space Station until ISS retires uh, about uh, 2030. And then we will separate from International Space Station and we will be the first commercial space, space station operating in orbit. So how does this differ from the model that Roscosmos has been offering for so many years? Yes, so um, uh, Roscosmos used to take, you know, some astronaut to space, as you indicated earlier. Uh, what we're doing is this is really uh, the first step, the first beginning of many beginnings that we're creating at Axiom Space. And it's really a first chapter, very historic in, 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 in human uh, space exploration, in really with a commercial state, space taking private astronauts to International Space Station, and we will have many other missions along with this. Uh, Roscosmos took maybe one or two in the past uh, to International Space Station. Uh, by the way, these are private astronauts. They're all gonna be performing many experiments uh, in space, um, and we'll be conducting um, uh, research, uh, educational activities, clinical research, all sorts of things that's very different just taking a tourist to the International Space Station. So the cost for an Axiom trip to the ISS, what's the, what's the cost of a seat at this point? We're, we really are not at the liberty to talk about the financials at this point. <laughs> the Washington Post reported it was $55 million a seat. Is that ballpark? Uh, yeah, that's about right. <laughs> All right. Um, so... You know, obviously, the space landscape is evolving dramatically, and the war on Ukraine has changed things. H how is uh, the relationship between private companies and the U.S. government changing as a result of not necessarily being able to use or staying away from Russian services and Russian airspace? Yeah, so that's a, you know, great question. I mean, you know, a space station and collaborations actually uh, it's an, uh, with, with the international partners, it's been a great thing. And it's been going on for over 20 years and it's continuing. And it's, it's something that is, has unified, uh, you know, all the different countries together. And the collaboration has been awesome and is continuing to be that way. And uh, we expect it to continue uh, at this point. Um, as far as uh, the other issues that's going on, uh, that's really between the US government, NASA, uh, and a Russian agency. From our perspective, um, you know, we're, we're working with NASA very closely. We're working with SpaceX. And we're expecting the collaboration uh, with uh, Russia and Russian space agency to continue. 